Okay, my young and restless friends, we got to talk about today's episode. Daniel doesn't think that Lily belongs with Billy. Nick is jealous that Sally slept with Adam. And Jack asks Diane to stay at the Abbott Estate with him. Welcome back to CBS Soap Dish Recap, where we recap everything CBS Soap spoke to Young and the Restless and the Bold and the Beautiful. This is your Young and the Restless Recap for December 6th. And without any further ado, let's talk about what went down in Genoa City today. Okay, so let's start off with Adam and Sally. Now, I don't know if you guys know I've been a Sally fan for a while, but I got a question. Who sleeps with somebody only to break up with them? And with Nick coming in to see the bed messed up, he knows that they did the do. Now, if he actually still wants to date Sally, which we don't know yet, it makes him look really desperate. And Nick told Sally, I guess there's no mystery to what just happened. Uh, yeah, what gave that away? The bed, right? Yeah, that whole unmade bed, uh, the stretch or the stench that probably is in the room right now. Sally told him that she was really sorry that he had to actually see it. Not as sorry as probably he is. Now, Nick was like, well, yeah, me too. So Nick told her that he guessed that he has to answer to the question about Adam's proposal. Um... Sorry, Nick. Yeah, that was a goodbye sex time. And he turned to leave and she told him to wait. It's your turn. Uh, Nope, correction. She claimed that she was going to tell him about this. And I don't know. I just feel sorry for Nick. Well, maybe not sorry. And then Sally gave the I'm so confused speech because her feelings for him is very real as well. Uh, yeah, but she just slept with Adam. Okay, well, she told him that she was honest to him about being in love with Adam. And that's none other than Sally. But, you know, she also said it was over. Now, she had to make sure that it was really over. So, I guess she had to sleep with him to figure that out. I didn't get that part. Anyway, Sally said that she needed to know if they still have a spark. And they don't. And my thing is, after all of this, I would be surprised if Nick would wanted to stick around for this after she, she just slept with his brother. But she told Nick that, you know, what he walked in on was the aftermath of the realization, which is the end. All Nick had to do was ask, was she sure about that? She's like, yep. I'm positive. And Sally told him that she was ready to date now and that she doesn't have to, you know, worry about what Adam thinks when he sees them together. And mm, I thought they were already doing that. However, Nick told her that, you know, he needs to think about things. And that's a lot that he needs to think about. Um, yeah, Nick, if I were you, I would run, run, run. But uh, yeah, I have a feeling he might just change his mind. So then, let's head over to Chelsea's because Billy shows up talking about how he's ready for movie night. Man, go home and find your girlfriend. And I just think he's taking this whole thing a little too far. He looks obsessed. Now, Billy accused her of avoiding him. Uh, Yeah, because of the conversation that she had with Lily. But Chelsea, in true fashion, decided that he could stay. Now, the interesting thing is Billy said that there is no other place that he would rather be. Ooh-wee, I hope Lily never hear what he had to say in that moment. But they sit down, they laugh, they talk, and you know where this connection is going. These two are probably going to end up somewhere down the line in her bedroom. So speaking of Lily, she's over at society where Daniel bumps into her and she's just getting some takeout and so is he. Now he tells her that people are more productive when they take short breaks and suggest they have dinner. 
Once they sit down, they chat about his dad, and he thinks Danny has more energy than he does. They talk about Lucy and how brilliant he thinks she is, and he asks after the twins, and she tells them that they are doing well at college. They actually sorrowed them to seniors now. Now, when the topic of Heather comes up, he takes a big bite and chews. He'd rather not talk about Heather. Now, Daniel goes on about the gaming design and how great the platform is going to be. And Lily loves how enthusiastic he is about this. And he wants to make sure it's just right. He's grown into being a perfectionist and Lucy deserves this to be perfect. And this is about bettering himself. And that means everything. And he changes the topic back to Lily. Now, she tells him about how much her confidence has been boosted at work and how this merger was her idea. And Lily feels stronger than ever. Now, Daniel asks her how she's doing personally. Now, she sipped a little wine, kind of stuttering, and she says, Billy uh, keeps things interesting. And he admits that it's hard for him to imagine the two of them as a couple. Seeing them together makes no sense at all to him. And then he reminds her, you know, lots of people had doubts about them when they way were dating. And they laugh as they remember those days and they toast to being stronger. And I'm wondering, are these two going to head to the same place that Billy and Chelsea is headed? So let's talk about Dee Dee, a.k.a. Diane, because she is still worked up. And Jack gave her a hug, telling her, you know what, it's going to be all right. Well, Diane then gets a text from Jeremy talking about how it's a big mistake getting the Abbots to fight your battle. Really, Jeremy, it's a big mistake for a person who's on parole to be making threats. And especially when they put it in writing. Now, Jack told her that he will not let any harm come to her. Now, Jack asked, well, what do you think he wants? She was like, payback. She claims that she had some of his money ready for transport. And when he got arrested, she kept it. The fans didn't even know that she had it. Ooh, wee. Now, Jack just want her to hand the money back. And yeah, Diane was like, uh, that money is gone. And yeah, that's what she told Jack. And Jack was like, uh, well, why don't you cut him a check? And she was like, well, I used the money to rebuild my life. Oh boy. Jack then offered to repay the money, but she said no. And, you know, he doesn't even know how much it is, but he just want to write a blank check. Now, he wants to help Diane. Jack wants her to stay in one of the guest rooms at the house, but she's worried about Ashley. Well, you know what? That's going to be World War Three, Four, and 100 because of the fact that when Ashley finds out that she's there, she is going to hit the roof. However, Jack said that he would handle her because he wants Diane there. And finally, let's talk about Adam and Chance because they're having a conversation. And we're talking about two men with broken hearts. So Chance, broken heart over Abby. Adam, broken heart over uh, Sally. Of course, a few minutes ago, she just slept with him and then, you know, said, see you later. But Chance came right out and told Adam that Abby slept with somebody else. And... I thought Abby didn't want Chance to tell anybody. She actually wanted him to take the fall like he just did with Victor the past few days. Well, as we all know, since he told Adam, probably the whole town is about to find out. And Adam probably thinking, yeah, there's a lot of that going around. But Chance told Adam to keep his mouth shut, though. Um, yeah, well, you've already told someone what, what's the chances that Adam is going to say anything, but it was nice to see these two people actually getting along because at this point, Chance is just floating through time until probably he ends up with Sharon. And then of course, Adam, who knows which person he's going to end up with next. And, uh, yeah, we have to stay tuned to find out how everything is going to unfold.
Okay, so there you have it, your Young and the Restless recap for Tuesday, December 6, 2022. If you haven't checked out the Bold and the Beautiful recap, it has been uploaded to the channel. And until the next video, like, comment, and subscribe, and we will see you soon. Bye. <laughs>